Hello again everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 13 2 with me the Daemon Forever and we rejoin our journey back in the Augusta Towers and uh, if you remember in the last episode we were at this elevator riding up to the top and that room spinning for no apparent reason spinning twice okay and uh, we have to investigate the suspicious room. Okay. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Our battle. Okay, fine. Whoa. Uh, uh, slime healing. And they, uh, I don't know what this robot is. I was he in the first game. Oh, I can't remember. Done. Like I'm doing all that good. Come on, come on. Don't get hit. Whoa. My medic died. No idea if uh, Thunder God or Fear that God is better. Fear that God looks decent. Maybe I can kill him before reviving. Reviving our medic. Our kid Sith. Wait, do I have? I'm not sure if I can revive him. Oh, okay, now Sarah's dead. Sweet. And then, no, I don't think I have a uh, medic with a uh, no. So we've got to use the Phoenix down. And at least Sarah gets some buffs from the Phoenix down. Get our medic on. And an old sentineling. So that will make things a bit easier. And uh, I don't think I have a um, race, and I don't want to waste the phoenix down. So I'm gonna leave my Casey dead. He died pretty quickly. Or pretty suddenly, I have to say. To this dude, Orion. Let's see if we can stagger him. Two sentinels. I'm oh, sorry. Two ravages. This is taking longer than I, than it should probably. Yeah, that particular attack seemed dangerous, so I was guarding against it. Yeah, I think I was a bit mistaken there. I thought I already pressed the uh, command button, but I've forgotten to. My bad there. Sentinel does good, I guess. Okay, we can defend this. Come on. Now let's go out and get him. Sentinel! Damn. Whoa. Come here, come here. Sarah can heal, okay. Once she heals, we can go back all out. Come on, we can do this. We won't die here against this dude. He should already be aiming for me, so that's good. Damn. Oh, but uh, Sarah did a straight heal, which was cool. Cool. Come on, we can kill him, kill him. Damn. Let's do this. This is a bit harder than I thought it would be. And we did it. Damn. Whoa, no stars. And, uh, three minutes? Okay. So now, what was I doing? What was I doing? We've got a thing out here. Probably have to use it. Somehow. I assume. Okay, so we're moving it that way. I 
I can tell. Okay, now we can go this way. Okay, cool, cool. Seven. So this was from the um, continuation from the last episode. This guy with his numbers. Let's do this one more time. And this is basically the last room you need to enter for this section in the game. And then you, if you remember the, all the numbers the guy was saying, once you get to this screen, I didn't know you could examine it, but we can. Welcome to the Academy Datanet. Why, thank you. And we have to enter the password, and it's the number that the guy's been talking all throughout the the level. And I remember the first were 1, 2, and 3. I remember the last one was 7 and 2. And there's only really one combination with that, and that is square. Welcome. You have access to the Academy Datanet. Yay! I have no idea what would have happened if I got it wrong. And we get a fragment, the only fragment in this area. And our work here is done. No more intrusions from the future, right? It looks like we're safe. The network's back up and running. We never got to find out who was behind this whole thing, did we? Yeah, I don't know who it could be. Who would go through all the trouble to take control of a tower from the future without a demand of some sort? It really makes you wonder what they were after, huh? Analysis complete. Due to actions taken by the subjects, a possible future has been deleted from the timeline. The subjects pose a serious threat. For the security of future operations, precautionary countermeasures are being initiated. Subjects will be eliminated. Haha. <laughs> Okay, but I don't think that takes place in in this area and in this section. So there's really no big deal. It's not like you're gonna face it, be facing a boss or something suddenly. Yep, nothing there. So there's basically nothing else to do here, and, uh, except for running around. Can we evade? Can we evade? Come on, come on, evade, evade! Damn! Can we run? Oh, okay. Sweet. Sweet. So we have this elevator section in the middle. But again, there's no sort of like switch. So there's nothing really else to do here. And uh, we have another battle here that I can't be bothered to get into, so let's just run away! And uh, because the time's almost up, I decide to just return back to the Hysteria Crux and uh, leave this area basically. I don't think there's anything else here. So I'm relieving this area and I'm gonna be continuing the journey where we're supposed to go to end chapter 3. And that is the Arch Out Step. If you know, there is a boss here that we haven't fought yet, or that we tried to fight the first time and failed. On the surface so, of Grand Pulse stretches a desolate grassland. A yeah, we've heard this before, I believe. The Arch Out Step. And, uh, oh yeah, there's, like I said, there's a boss we have to fight. Where are you? So yeah, we had to switch to the thunder and lightning weather so that we can fight this guy without the um, adamant toys I guess or was it no the lung lung gui and we also have a different monsters a chon chon or something let's use our strong magic Oh, I like the effects. Again! One more time! I especially like it because you have haste on when you get a preemptive strike. And, uh, 
and with your innate abilities that uh, increase your ATB charge when you kill enemies or hurt enemies. So you can like hit Furaga again and again and again pretty quickly. I like that. But anyway, that's not our main goal. Our main goal is this dude. Meal time's over. We meet again. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I hope you didn't mind. Megaton charge, he doesn't do this straight away, so let's try and get in a few attacks first. I've got my synergies on just to give me some protection. And uh, I don't think he gave me protection. Oh, did we get it in time? Oh, and we got protection, sweet! Okay, so that's his big, big early attack gone. And we've been able to withstand that. I'm still having my synergies on just to give me some more boost. Because this guy should be somewhat difficult. Okay, I think that's all for synergies that I need for now. And uh, we're already losing uh, our buffs. That's, that's awesome. So let's go with the... Uh, a stagger chain build formation. Now we probably need to oh, need to sentinel a few of these attacks. He seems pretty strong. Hopefully my KC doesn't die like he did against that uh, random enemy. Probably need to focus on staggering him rather than anything else. Whoa! Damn, he's pretty fast. He gets his turn pretty fast. Okay, if he keeps doing Aurora and uh, his swipe attacks, it does, that doesn't do that much damage. Black hole. Uh, we need to guard this. Okay, okay. Come on, Casey. Do some good healing. Yeah, he is pretty fast. Now I'm gonna focus on staggering him and keeping my synergies there. Luckily I kept I had this formation of a Rav, Sinager and a Saboteur. That way he can keep up my uh, buffs when they fall. And they're falling already. Okay, see them that ah Oh he's alive. Sweet sweet sweet. Oh is he causing wound damage? Damn! I hate wound damage. Okay, okay, come on, come on, let's stagger him, come on, let's stagger him. We're gonna have to take some hits. Thundaga! Okay, we got his stagger meter up, good. Is he staggered yet? No, oh, we're setting all this. We can heal before the stagger meter runs out. Come on, come on. Ah! Kiss it, heal yourself. Okay, let's get him. Okay, I've got commando, so that should get his um, stagger meter up again. Let's go, Ravager. Stagger him, stagger him. Oh, so close. Sweet! Okay, let's see if we can kill him quickly. That'll be good. Yeah, I've got my traveling. Shred him to pieces! Okay, yeah, you just keep, him, keep hitting Aurora. That I should be able to defend against that for now. Okay, his Tiger Meter is, is training pretty slowly, I have to say. Come on, we can do, we can do this! Let's build it up too. 
And then go commando. Or in another feral egg. 3 Ooh, can we get him in this stagger meter? Come on, come on, come on. So close, so close, so close. One or two more hits. Come on, come on. One or two more hits. Sweet! Okay, and we did it with four stars. Okay, not bad. A simple item. Oh, don't hang, don't hang. Do you think this will fix the paradox? Yes. Now let's head back before Snow gets himself into more trouble. That was pretty Why, confident. Are you worried about him? What? <laughs> no. Just figured you'd be itching to see him again. <laughs> uh, if there's one thing I know about Snow, it's that he's as tough as a behemoth. I don't worry too much when he's off on his own. You know, I couldn't do what you two do. Staying apart and doing your own thing even though you love each other. <sighs> you never know when someone might disappear from your life. Take it from me, you have to make every moment count. No. But it's okay. I believe we can change our fate. If I didn't, I wouldn't be here. Ding, 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 ding. Somehow we've come back to the sunshine weather. And we get a Mog's Clock. Oh, and we... Hey, Sarah just mentioned that Snow was a behemoth. Or as tough as a behemoth and we can really get out of this. So, let's see if we can take this behemoth on. I just defeated a feral that looks like a dragon. So his damage isn't that bad. I don't think. And he's pretty slow. Oh my haste wore off. Yeah, I hate it when he has a swipe attack. And it hits everyone. Come on, Casey, you can do better. Yeah, and if you keep everyone far apart, that'd be good too. Okay, buffs seem to be running out. Can we stagger him? The stagger meat is pretty. Oh damn. And he healed himself. Good for you I guess. Um not so confident now. His oh his stagger meat is still okay if I can build it up some more. Okay and uh Sarah just died. Is he using... He's just using Fyuda. Come on, man. Okay. I think I'm gonna die here. So let's just go all out in attack. And we died. Okay. Even after defeating the Pharaoh. We couldn't fight the Behemoth. But, so yeah. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. And uh, join me next time as we continue the journey proper. I think we're close to the end of chapter 3. Thanks for watching.